Hey guys, Mark back again. I'm going to talk today about the uh, dynamic link between uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and, and pretty much all the Adobe Suite products uh, in CS5, CS5.5, and so on. Um, when I first uh, heard of the dynamic link, I thought I had to do something special. And if you see up here, you go under File, there's uh, Adobe Dynamic Link, uh, New After Effects Composition, Import After Effects Composition. You don't even have to mess with this, okay? You don't even have to mess with this, all right? Um, coincidentally, also, I'm going to talk about uh, some other things, uh, some some cool tricks. If you're brand new to, again, if you're brand new, if you're a beginner with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, you know what I'm going to show you is going to help you out. And uh, so let's get started. So right now I'm in Premiere Pro. I do have After Effects open. But let's go back into Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, this is CS 5.5. Um, I, I imported a JPEG right here, and you can see that it's not the size of uh, the composition. So, what I can do is I can right click on it, look for scale the frame size, but then we still see we have some issues on the left and right hand side. So, what we can do is, okay, what we can do is, we can click on the, f the, 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 the picture right here, the file that we dragged down to the timeline. Click on Effects Controls and you're going to see this, Motion, Opacity, Time re Remapping, and any other effect that we put onto this specific uh, particular clip in this box right here. I can click down Motion and then I can actually control the size, see the size. I can control uh, left, right, up. I can pretty much control anything. And again, control Z, control Z, control Z will undo, uh, we'll just keep undoing. And this uh, control Z also um, undoes anything done in After Effects too when you're working in After Effects as well. So I want to make this as big as the frame size so it's all even. So I'm going to bring up the scale up to where, boom, right there. So now we got a nice full scale, full frame picture to work with. We have all these other options too we can work with, very much similar to uh, After Effects where we can mess with the different parameters of uh, this particular clip. Um, and we can also add different presets and effects um, to this uh, clip as well. So don't think of Premiere Pro as just only you know putting clips together and also doing audio think of it you know you can do a lot more in Premiere Pro than you think you can now I always like to do my final edits and do my rendering in Premiere Pro I for me personally I find that it works better and that the uh, final render does come out better um, for some reason when I used to render in uh, Adobe After Effects which you can do um, the render was coming out a little bit choppy and uh, I didn't wasn't really crazy about it. The funny thing is, I could take a pretty much finished uh, composition from After Effects, bring it over to Adobe Premiere Pro, and just render that file out, and it would it would it would automatically be better. So that I do recommend. Um, but anyways, let's keep keep it moving here. So I've got uh, this deal right here in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, I got this little JPEG picture clip right here. Now, say I want to bring something. Uh, say I'm in After Effects because uh, in, Pre in Premiere Pro, at least I haven't figured it out yet, how to create some really cool dynamic text. You can do some titling in Premiere Pro by title, new title, default role, and then you can create some titles this way. And uh, you know, you can create, you know, boom, and you can type in whatever and make it work that way, and you know, it'll be great, yada yada yada. It'll show up here. And you can drag it down, and then it, it'll show up, you know, right there. But uh, to be honest with you, that's your basic text. And uh, to get some really cool, bring in some cool, you know, cooler text, stuff you can really just mess around with and have a good time with, and do, I mean, unlimited amount of things uh, to bring into Premiere Pro. All you have to do is once you created your uh, effects on what you want in After Effects, you save it. And you, and you remember what you say to I right here I have Emotional Breakup. That's the name of this entire file, this entire composition, the, uh, the entire effects. All these are in uh, Emotional Breakup. So I'm going to go to Premiere Pro, I'm going to go File, 
import, I'm going to find where those uh, files are. It's in here. Emotional breakup. There it is. Click on I can double click. Or I can just click and open. Then it's going to bring up all the finished comps. See, all, and I named them all. So I can, uh, let's see, which one was that that I'm looking for? So I'm looking for final word, right? So we'll find final word right there. Click on it once, hit OK. Watch this. I can double click this, it'll bring it up right here. And then uh, there it is, right? I can drag it down. I can put it above right here. And then it'll actually play, you know. On top of this, I can put, I mean, I can do a whole bunch of things here to work, uh, to bring the uh, After Effects work I've done right into Premiere Pro seamlessly without any issues. Now, say that was in a weird spot or I didn't like the, the way it looked and I want to change the color, I can go back into After Effects. If I change something here, it'll automatically change it here without even doing anything. So once I change it here, if I come back over, it'll update right away and it will show you the instant results here. So there's no guessing. And it's huge. It's it's just huge, all right? And uh and after effects, uh what I wanted to point out too and uh which I didn't figure out for a while, if you right click, you can go new and you can do Settings so you can do everything you can when you go up here, you layer new. Except you don't have to go all up there and hit layer new. You can just in this box hit right click and you can do composition settings, new, you can preview, you can do all this stuff. Now if you do it up here, you can't do it on the on the you know on your composition picture, but you can do it over here you can do it, here you can do it. Something else that's really cool in Premiere Pro, like I showed you before. I want to work on this comp. I hit, I'll click on it. I hope here effects controls. Now, to move left and right on here, it's not like After Effects. If you hit page up, page down, you're going to jump an entire frame, an entire clip. Here, you're using your arrows left and right. So, I left, right. If you hit arrow up, down, it does some funky stuff. So, we won't worry about that right now. But what's pretty cool, so you can do some pretty cool camera moves just right in Premiere Pro. So say um, I want to do a cool, like a zoom in type of thing. So I'll, I'll get to the beginning of uh, the world here. And I'll hit the uh, stopwatch. I'll toggle the stopwatch. Set in a keyframe just like in After Effects. Come forward a little bit. And then I'll zoom in like that. Now I'll, I'm going to render what's in, this is the work area, I'm going to render what's in the work area sequence, render effects and work area it's going to render, it renders pretty quick so that's pretty cool and then watch over here, watch what happens it's also going to render the uh, title that we uh, imported from uh, After Effects as well So, and here we go, check it out Pretty cool. All right. Pretty cool. Do that one more time. So I mean, just by this doing these simple little things, um, you can make a big difference to some really stagnant, uh, stagnant um, footage. <laughs> so I mean. You can do some cool stuff with it. All right. Don't forget too. Uh, say you're creating uh, some lightsaber scenes that you want to pull in to some, uh, you know, other normal scenes that you don't have to go in After Effects. You know, definitely use that same technique. Work in After Effects. Import the uh, files that you save and create in uh, into Premiere Pro. Also, you know, you want to use Premiere Pro to work with audio. So what you can do is, right here, you can notice I got to toggle up and down. 
if I know I'm not going to have three sets of uh, layers of video, I can bring that window up here and I'll keep it just like that because I have two things of video. So I'll keep it just like that. That way it gives me more room to see my audio here. And you can see I've got, you know, what I got? Six layers of audio plus a master. So I mean, it gets pretty intense. Also, say I uh, got these guys in position right where I want them, but I'm going to move them around. I want to. I can, you know, go like this obviously and move both layers around, but I can also group them together, right? So I can go boom, shift, hold down shift, click that. I can click that as well. Then I can hit right click and I can hit group, right? So then by just touching one, it drags both. See, Woo. It drags both. Now I can even, you know, take this. Let me ungroup them. I could take these two, and then if I had an extra layer of sound, I could group all those together. And then I could move those, see that? So it really uh, is a great tool to do editing with, and uh, I, I definitely encourage you guys not just to use After Effects, but get to get into Premiere Pro as well, because you're going to love it. I mean, Premiere Pro is great. And, uh, you know, it's made for editing. Uh, After Effects is more compositing. You can edit in there, obviously, but you definitely want to uh, use the power of the of the total application by using both Premiere Pro and After Effects. And once you you get into those two together, you're gonna love it, and your your work is gonna be that much better, and you're gonna be that much more pleased with yourself. And like I said, the audio in this is great. And we will get into the um, Adobe Sound Booth and um, the newest one that's out. I forget the name of it uh, in CS 5.5. But uh, I hope this helped. I know it was a quick uh, tutorial, but I just want to explain kind of the techniques on the uh, dynamic link between After Effects and Premiere Pro. So thanks, guys. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll talk to you soon.